we are pioneers and still pioneering low emission products, and we spend a lot of our advanced engineering and R&D monies to make sure we have the latest in technology to reduce emissions, not just, you know, not just uh, exhaust emissions, noise emissions, vibration emissions, to really drive a better piece of construction equipment. In addition, we, we are investing continually in operator training and work site, the contractor site, efficiency to reduce idle time, fuel burn. So not just to have a, a fuel efficient piece of equipment, a capital equipment, but also the training and, and the, the services that go with it so that it can be used in an efficient way. We sponsor events uh, such as Operator Idle to show you know, friendly competitions that really drives lower fuel consumption, which is then good for the environment. We're doing this around the globe. So it's product focused. It's, it's uh, how the machines are operated indeed. Um, also to our factories, our uh, articulated hauler manufacturing site in Braus, Sweden, was the first manufacturing site in the construction equipment indus- industry to be 100% CO2 neutral, where all of the energy we're using to, to operate the plant come from renewable sources. That takes a real commitment from any company, such a, including as Volvo Construction Equipment, to drive this forward. And then I would say another example, the most recent one, is that we hosted and sponsored the CCC Summit, which brought together people from across sectors, from industry, industry participants such as ourselves, governmental agency, uh, academics, NGOs, WWF and others to bring us all together. So we like to facilitate the dialogue to help drive the agenda, but no one entity or party or sector can do it on their own. It's not just how it evolves over the next year and how it evolves over many years, the next decades to come. And the summit itself, the CCC conference, strengthens the foundation of all the activities to come. Now we have to maintain the momentum and keep the traction to push things forward. The situation is worse than we had feared. And we must continue to really drive the collaboration and across across all sectors, again, government, NGOs, academia, industry, including Volvo construction equipment, each of us must do our piece to drive towards a solution. But I will admit there were some very sobering reports about the state of our situation, of the the environment, and how things are trending. And not new information, but additional information that we had seen. That's quite sobering indeed. That really then drives that this is an imperative. And quite frankly, that collectively across society, we're behind in these efforts. And that each member, each part of the collaborative efforts, including industry manufacturers, has to increase the speed of their activities, increase the investment, increase the focus to really be part of this large collaborative group to drive change in the climate. Embracing the need to protect the environment and reduce CO2 emissions is not necessarily on the surface always for everyone a good business proposition. For Volvo, it's one of our core values, environmental care. So we wake up each morning and thinking about this and how it is good business for us because it is a core value. What it requires then is for a combination of governmental policy, law, public policy, industry initiatives to come together to drive it. It can't just be industry alone that drives this. Collaboration requires then leadership. It also requires a common language, common terminology, and common units of measurement as to how we're measuring and describing what the challenges are and the improvements to the challenges. And while there are perhaps some differences in views from the CCC summit I actually saw and everyone saw, it's actually quite well aligned already as to the common goals. Now it's for across all the sectors and the participants to utilize a common language. There is risk that some industry participants will not get as involved as they should be for fear of the commercialization of solutions, profitability, et cetera. This is where the very important role of policy, laws, academia coming together to put certain requirements, legal requirements even, depending on the area 
and the situation so that all industry participants must participate at the same level in the same way. Then it becomes a commercial imperative. An example being engine uh, uh, emission standards that have been changing over time and continue to change. It's a level playing field. We all must play by those same rules. That then drives innovation, investment, changes in technology. So when policy and industry come together, even though maybe not initially, but then we have to execute on new policy and regulations, this is positive for society and has a very positive impact on the environment.